all right guys what's going on i'm gonna be showing you guys another um another heartbreaker build video put this one together switch some things around running into the weapon and uh man i think this might be my favorite way to run it but yeah gonna be playing some countdown for you guys an agent is back online and yeah i just hope you guys enjoy the video I've been hearing you guys' comments about the uh, about the Heartbreaker talent not proccing correctly. And I think it's doing that to everyone right now. It's doing it to me. Sometimes, sometimes for some reason, either the talent won't proc and you just won't get, you know, Heartbreaker's not working. Or you know, when you're trying to get those headshots, sometimes the enemies don't pulse correctly. And, you know, it's a little bit buggy, so hopefully they fix it soon. We need to find a way to relieve the pressure and fix the reactor's cooling system. Reactor unstable. Emergency lockdown protocols activated. 15 minutes to lockdown. Communication relay offline. Critical pressure level to avert catastrophic system failure. System Secure the area so we can bring in the engineer. System disrupted. Protect the VIP at the end. Protect the engineer. Guys, uh, over here. Where's this guy at? Oh, here it is. System malfunctioning. High risk target detected. System 
pushed forward. Hitting pretty hard now. Area Look how much bonus armor we have too. Grab this right here. An agent has disconnected. Ten minutes to lock down. Evacuate the facility. To stabilize cooling system. Pressure system purge required. Agent, you're in. I need you to fix that cooling tower. Shot me from the back. the remaining steam and you'll be good to go. We've got a big wire here. Loot up here. Well, that works. Now that the pressure is stabilized, we need to shut off that. Steam. 
beam. Literally just face tanking everything, man. guys are here. Agent down. Yo, I got one shot by something. Oh my god. Yo, something hit me hard. <laughs> Yo, what was that? We need to get out of here. Serious trauma detected. Stabilize system pressure. You guys aren't farming countdown for your gear man i highly recommend doing that right now because you get so i mean you get so much gear from this nice the plant's secure now let's get you out of there move to the extraction point so much gear. when you're ready to come home shoot off a flare Let's go extract, baby. Let's go. System disrupted. Oh shit, we got hunters. I think I pushed up a little bit. Oh my, who got this hunters on the side of me or is agent out of action? So we gotta be careful here. Extracted. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys the build. All right. Entering safe area. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is the new way I am running Heartbreaker at the moment, and it's probably. I don't know it's probably the best way you can run the build to be honest i mean the bag and the chest are just super strong so uh 
as you can see we have it on right now but gonna go ahead and break down all the weapons and all that so for the main weapon i am running the police m4 it comes with ar damage health damage and damage to targets i'll cover on it for the talent i did go with flatline amplifies weapon damage by 15 percent to pulse enemies after three kills applies pulse to the next enemy you hit so yeah i'm not running the kingbreaker i know a lot of people are talking about the kingbreaker it hits hard hits high numbers but again it's just not I've, I've played with it, and personally, it's just not my favorite weapon at the moment. Um, I, I, the handling is not too bad, but, you know, I rather, I like the higher rate of fire weapons, so this is what I'm going with, but you guys can definitely switch the police M4 out, but at the moment, this is probably my favorite weapon to run with this build at the moment. So yeah, police M4 with flatline. I am running the ACS-12 with flatline as well uh, i know a lot of people have the named acs 12 the uh i think it's called the showstopper um i just decided to go with the regular acs 12 with flatline on it for the sidearm i'm running the maximum nine the technician sidearm but you guys can run whatever you guys want here for the gear we are running a four piece heartbreaker two piece giving us 50 percent ar damage 50 percent lmg damage three pieces giving us 50 percent weapon handling four pieces giving us heart stopper um apply a pulse for headshots apply pulse for five seconds weapon hits on post enemies add a stack of one percent bonus armor and one percent damage to post enemies up to 50 stacks two stacks are lost each second we are running the chest piece with a weapon damage critical hit damage and then a crit hit damage mod for the chest it does come with the talent max bpm increases max stacks for hard stopper from 50 to 100 so again really great that's why we're allowed to hit those high numbers with the m4 you know because it's just additional damage you know instead of 50 it's 100 so that's double so it's great for the holster i am running armor and critical hit damage knee pads armor critical hit damage for the bag i am running the heartbreaker bag i have weapon damage critical hit damage and a crit critical hit damage mod for the talent it comes with cold increases bonus armor increases total bonus armor gain per stack from of heart starter from one percent to two percent so again that's going to give us the high survivability as you guys can see pretty much face tanking every enemy and there no this is a no shield build so it's really great for you those of you guys who don't don't like running shields i definitely think hard stopper has kind of brought shields to i don't want to say shields are going to be you know they're gone forever but because you know i still run shields here and there especially with no armor builds but as of right now with hard stopper i mean getting that bonus armor definitely allows you to you know not run the shield or not run as much armor because you know it gives you that healing effect or was that but yeah talking about the cold talent um I, I think it definitely allows you to not run the shield as much so that bonus armor is really great for that survivability and until you know you get to the hunters the hunters they hit incredibly hard so um but if you have if you have a good amount of bonus armor with heartbreaker you can you can stand a fighting chance one-on-one -on -one with the hunter but they just hit super hard so maybe you guys can add more armor on here but i think what we're running right now 1.1 is good enough but yeah heartbreaker bag and chest for the um for the gloves i am running the cheska gloves giving me 10 percent critical hit chance i have weapon damage on here critical hit chance and a critical hit damage for the mask, I am running the Fenris mask, giving me 10% AR damage. I have weapon damage on here, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and another critical hit chance mod. Um, yeah, we are running, uh, sorry, we're running the two skills. The two skills we're running are the decoy skill and the reviver hive. Just, just in case I go down, you know, with those hunters, like I said, again, they hit really hard. So when you get to the end, you want to have a backup. You know, sometimes your teammates... They're not really running Reviver Hives, so it's good to just have one on you just in case you or your teammates go down. You can throw it down and it can revive somebody that needs to, you know, be revived. For the... So, all right. So, this is where I changed it up um, quite a bit. Instead of the Gunner class, I am running the Technician class because it gives us the linked laser pointer for all you guys um, who know. The linked laser pointer is an attachment you can put on your ARs. As long as it's able to be put on. So I, I know it's the link laser pointer isn't able to go on all weapons. But some of the weapons you can put the link laser pointer on. Um, but yeah, it says linked laser pointer. Technician laser pointer that pulses targets at which it's aimed. Underbar attachment for long rails. So yeah. 
this is how we're going to get heart stopper sorry this is how we're going to get heart stopper to proc i know a lot of people have been saying that heart stop uh, heartbreaker is not proccing correctly which i do agree sometimes i do notice that when i am hitting those headshots the enemy either is not pulsing and i'm not getting my damage or either my heart stopper heart stopper talent is just not working period or heartbreaker is just not it's not working like at all um so yeah but yeah um for let me go ahead and show you guys real quick what i'm talking about because i know it's kind of annoying it's kind of it's it's a little bit of a problem so as you guys can see right now the little heart at the bottom that is the heartbreaker um symbol and that means it's proc so every time you you know uh have an enemy highlighter you're going to be getting that amplified damage you see how it's stacking and let me put something see how it's stacking at the bottom that means it is proccing but sometimes for some reason it won't proc and you just won't have the you won't have the little heart at the bottom which is kind of annoying but it hasn't done it to me that often but it has happened to me it has happened to me a couple times so i do understand what you, what you guys are saying and if it does what i if it does happen to you guys and you guys see that the little heart isn't there and it's not proccing what i recommend for you guys to do is um, just switch out your switch out a piece of heartbreaker just switch it and you should get the heart to come back on bit um but yeah that's that's how i'm running it change it up a bit um the technician class gives you a lot of bonuses as well it gives you uh extra damage to uh robots and stuff like that so i definitely think it's you know it's not i know, I know a lot of people like the gunner class but i think especially for heart breaker a lot of people have been saying they struggle a little bit to get the headshots and apply pulse so this is a big improvement on helping you guys get those enemies pulse with the link laser pointer you don't have to aim for the head you just simply aim at the target and you gonna get that heart stopper to start stacking and also um and also the the thing about heartbreaker is that if if you don't hit those headshots you're not gonna apply pulse which sucks because sometimes when you get those warhounds and you get those uh sorry the warhounds and the uh, turrets you know as you guys know if you guys run your heart stopper and you guys aren't running the link laser pointer those won't be the won't uh be pulsed so you won't do as much damage to them but the technician class allows you to pretty much post anything that's a threat um so you're going to be doing amplified damage to whatever it is which is you know which is great um but yeah that's the build you guys uh, I think I went over everything for the stats. We're running 999,000 damage for the M4, 39,000 PvP damage, 48% critical hit chance, and 140% critical hit damage. 75% headshot damage. So yeah, we're sitting pretty, uh, pretty good numbers here. We're sitting at 48% critical hit chance. Uh, I know a lot of you guys uh, stack a lot more critical hit damage on your builds. Um, I personally like to go on the crit more critical hit chance side just because I personally feel like I hit harder that way. But again, it's totally up to you guys. You guys, cause if you want more crit hit damage, either switch one of these mods out. You could switch the critical hit chance mod out and put another critical hit damage or switch the Cheska gloves out and put some Grupo Sombra gloves on. Um, let me see if I have some. Yeah, you can put some Grupo Sombra gloves on and, you know, try that out. See if that helps you better. I think we were hitting pretty high numbers i mean with full stacks to the head i think we were hitting like 1.1 million and then to the body we were hitting around seven to 800k to the body um but yeah the build is really really nice i mean i love running it not just for countdown but for i mean i'm starting to run it with pretty much um every all hero content legendary content i'm running um i've tried the M I tried this build out in Legendary, and I will tell you that it does hit hard. It still hits the same numbers. But as you guys know, the enemies on Legendary do hit a lot harder, and they are a bit tankier. So um, you might have to adjust the you might have to adjust the build a little bit. But I think overall, it um I think overall it gets the job done. But yeah, um that's the build, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just a, another little different way of running. Heartbreaker. I know a lot of people are running the Kingbreaker, but again, it's just, it's not, it's personally just not for me. Um, 
So for those of you guys who, you, I mean, you guys can definitely run this with the King Kingbreaker. I mean, you just have to switch the weapon out. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's the video, guys. Just want to thank all you guys once again for watching the videos, supporting the channel. All the nice comments you guys have been giving me is, uh, I'm super grateful for it. And I uh, just really want to thank you guys. Um, just really want to thank, you know, all you guys, man, from the bottom of my heart, really. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. You guys take care and I'll catch you guys later.